Hi, everybody, it's Farrell with Track Shot Live. Actually, it's not Track Shot Live, it's crowd surfing, but do me a favor, go to Track Shot Live's YouTube page, like, share, subscribe. The best demolition derby live stream in America. Dare I say, in the world. Anyway, it's Farrell with Crowd Surfing. We're here at the Ogden Pioneer Days Rodeo. You know, I love Ogden Pioneer Days. It's such a great event. It's such a great time. They always roll the red carpet out for us. So let's walk around. You know what? Hold on a minute. I've been wondering about this for a long, long time. And I always wonder like what punch and dogies meant. So I'm gonna see if anybody can explain what punch and dogie means. Anyway, let's walk around, talk to some people, and find out what it's all about. <laughs> I gave him the head nod so I look cool. Can we talk to you guys or what? Oh, we're just talking about what we're doing here. What are we doing here? We're just, I'm not really sure. That's why I have, is it fair to call you friends or no? On most days. Or just an acquaintance? Some days. <laughs> I got Dan, Dale, and Wes. John's over there eating. He's, he's too good to <laughs> hang out with. Yeah, see him right over there? <laughs> takes, a lot of, takes a lot of energy to play guitar. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of energy, I just can't play the guitar. What's wrong with that it's picture? Whose crazy. fault is that, Farrell? <laughs> Probably mine. Can I get your name? JC. Emma. Gavin. Bridger. Bodie. Kale. Kenna. And I have no idea. So what are you guys doing down here tonight? We're here to watch the rodeo. Watch the rodeo? Is anybody competing in the rodeo? No? no? I wish. No. You, you wish you were competing or I you wish? I a bull rider. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, can I get your guys' names? My name's, oh, my name's Ann House. Melissa Fowler. What's your name? Elise. Elise. And let me ask, you guys are dressed up like the whoopee girl? Yeah. You just tell me there's some history there, right? There's some history. She was my mother. Really? Uh, she was in, I have her original belt buckle here, 1936. Really? She was uh, chosen as the, she's really known as the first rodeo queen in the United States. And she was inducted into uh, three different halls of fame as the first woman into like cowboy halls of fame. So what are you guys doing down here? Well, we're here for the big rodeo. The big rodeo? Big Pine Beer Day Rodeo. Yeah, well, hey, I've heard it called that before, but I don't think that's the official title. <laughs> Are you... We all got our boots on, you see? I, I got some too, look. Nice. Yeah. So we're cowboys. Are brand new. Can you say reckon? I reckon. Reckon? Yeah. Yeah. What does punch and doggies mean? Do you have any idea? <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You want to be a bull rider too? Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be fun, but I'd rather ride a horse around a barrel. Yeah, he well, more of my style. They do that here, you know? Yeah. I, I seen it on TV and I had to come check it out. Seriously, I was hoping I could ride a horse tonight. <laughs> what about, any of you guys want to ride a bull? No. No. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not that interested. It depends how much I'm going to get paid. <laughs> no. Just ride horses? Yeah. I'm gonna sound stupid here, and forgive me, but that wasn't that wasn't obviously that was an actual woman. There was it's not something just a logo they made up. It, it's it's actually the mayor decided that he really wanted a rodeo that year. I mean, someone it was a depression era, and he really wanted something to lift spirits. So just for fifty cents each, which was very cheap back then, he allowed anyone to come. Um, and they had they had some of the most famous uh, riders and bull riders and clowns, and the president was invited. FDR. He didn't come and even the king of england and his wife made a comment about the whoopee girl wow. so it's That's really cool are you familiar with dale brisby by any chance oh yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and he has a shirt that says super puncher and what what is a super puncher punch doggies <laughs> i'm wondering if they correlate somehow or other no <laughs> he's pretty tough he wears it scared yeah he would have to yeah so, you guys are down here to play, right? How many times have you played the uh, Pioneer Days Rodeo? Four, five. More than you can count? Yeah. 
especially when you get old and you can't remember last year. <laughs> I can't remember last week, so we're, we're, we're even there. Your hair going to get caught up in the range, right? Yeah, maybe. Dude, the mullets are back, and I love every second of it. How long take you to grow your mullet out? See, I got this, and it sucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks so much for talking with me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Have You're a good welcome. night and a good rodeo. <laughs> Are these your daughter and, and sister? This right. is my daughter. <laughs> right. So we've got the Whoopi girl's daughter and then a daughter, daughter. Yeah. Great granddaughter. That is really, really cool. Yeah, I'm so proud of her hair. She was a wonderful woman, inside and out. Yeah, for sure. That's something to be proud of. That's really awesome. Yeah, excuse my ignorance. I really didn't know that was an actual person. So Colt 46 um, playing. You got the big night, too. You got the main night. Indeed. Indeed. And we're lucky. You guys must carry a lot of weight around here. That was, uh, <laughs> that's his doing. Is that yeah. your doing? How'd you manage that? Drummer. It's all it's drummer. It's he drummer. takes care of everything. I thought they'd only count to four. I didn't think it was much good for anything else. It's all we need him to do. <laughs> Sometimes just a three. Just a, so, yeah, well, I guess well, it the four is implied. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's like a ghost note. Is that a thing? It is. It is a thing. All right, look look, look who I found. It's I'm Celeste. Chase. Chase. I had to ask. I can't remember Chase's name. I'm going to be real honest with you. I was going to introduce Celeste and Chase, and I can't remember his name. Sorry about that, Chase. No, you're good. Eh? No worries. So, so you guys down here for the rodeo, right? Yes, we are. It's his first time. Oh, you've never been to a rodeo before? Uh, I've been down on Dixie, but I've only been there for a little bit. This is my first time at a big rodeo and here at Pioneer Days. Yes, this is this is actually a big deal. Her name was Lorene Donaldson, and she was not only a great horsewoman, but she was also really educated. She had a master's degree and taught high school English for many years. Yeah. That woman to Saint then dealing with horses and high school kids. Could you imagine? She lived two blocks away from here, and she wrote in her uh, diary all of the information about her getting to do this and it was so exciting for her well that's super awesome thank you so much you guys i appreciate your time and teaching me a little something about the whoopee girl right have fun tonight she would be a hundred years old this year really wow very impressive that's super awesome thank you guys i know everything about being in a band even though i've never been in one so anyway colt 46 you guys got you guys got a website right we do yes facebook page. just a facebook page don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody about their Facebook page. Colt 46 on the Facebooks. Look them up. If you get a chance, come see them. Because they're, they're, they're all right. I, you know, I'd endorse them, right? We we're not going to pay you much, but you can endorse <laughs> us. I would say, without any kind of question at all, that Ogden's Rodeo is 10 times better than Days of 47 in Salt Lake all day long. This is a more friendly, you know what I mean? The people are there. It's it's a lot smaller. It's, it's just better all the way around oh i've never been to days of 47 but i don't want to go to days oh i went once and i went once and it's, it's overrated as can be it just has a personality to it you know what i mean it's see and sorry days of 47 i mean don't be mad at me all right i found the two coolest guys in the entire rodeo right what's your name tyler jared and i was gonna ask what you're doing but it's obvious right I think so. so how'd you land a gig like this uh, it's all about who you know. Is that you just got lucky, right? Yep. You know this guy, and you know this yep. guy. Is that how you got it? We, yep, we happen to be brothers. We've been doing this for. You're oh, the beer brother. We are. We're the beer brothers. Indeed. Look them up on Spotify and iTunes. You'll be happy. Colt 46. Anyway, and if you want to book them for a gig, which you know you want to do, look them up on the Facebooks. This guy. Yeah, call me. <laughs> yeah, call Dan. Alrighty, guys. Well, hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks, Farrell. It doesn't have the personality like it does here. It's real generic and like, eh, um, you know what I mean? So what I'm saying is, if you live in Salt Lake, drive down here to Ogden and check out the rodeo. They do the they do the um, rodeo queen here. They do all that. Miss Rodeo Utah, they do all that stuff here. True. So you're in for a treat, this big rodeo, Chase. I think I am. Uh, Celeste has been telling me all about it. I'm pretty excited about it. Like, uh, We're just looking at the events, and I'm like, I have no clue what any of these mean. We've been here hawking beer for, I don't know, about 10 years now, and we've got another brother lost somewhere over there. So uh, the other one walking around with the Beer Brother shirt is is also part of the group here. So he's like, you guys like just like threw him out of the mix here because the tips are better here, is that it? Well, something like that, I guess. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I run into uh, Mr. Allen Hall. He's a handsome devil. What, what is he doing down here? 
So, you know, tonight's our last night. It's the best night. We've been sold out every night, mm -hmm. 45,000 fans. Tonight we, you know, we have grand celebrations as, as we wrap up for Pioneer Days. And we have, uh, obviously, the Miss Rodeo Utah competition yes. announcement tonight. That's my favorite part. It is. I do have a question for you. Yeah. Is, is, is the kill made by Wrangler? No, no, not at all. You can get some shaps for that or what? Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> just some uh, knee-high wool socks. I, I was just, I was just gonna say, if, if you ride a horse, you gotta ride side saddle, or can you just go ahead and ride? Oh, no, you, you can definitely ride western with this on. I promise you that. All right, cool. Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks so much for talking. I appreciate it. All of right, course. Good to see Thank you. you. Good to see you, Farrell. Let me ask you something about tips, because I worked at an establishment that served beer, and when I would sell beer to people they'd say stuff like they say stuff to me like well you're not pretty enough to give a tip to have you have you seen that yet nobody's told me that before really you're a handsome man though uh, you know uh, so <laughs> not, not once huh nope no, i've never had that problem man i'm hideous as they come i guess i got a granddaughter in the mutton busting oh really yeah make sure the ambulance is standing by <laughs> i bet she'll be all right she's probably pretty tough oh, i have to tell you a funny story i've been telling some of my friends <laughs> that if they want to ride the bull, uh, I'll get them on a bull, but the deal is if they can last longer than eight seconds, I'll give them a free ride to the hospital. <laughs> Look how generous you are. <laughs> I'm bothering these people, Bill. Are you sure? All right. Is there a spokesperson? I don't know. I'll just, I'll just all ask. All, all, all spokespeople? Yes, all right. What's your name? My name is Diane Huffman. And what is it you're doing down here? So I am a contestant in the Miss Rodeo Utah pageant. I'm currently representing as the first attendant for Ogden Pioneer Days, and I'm super excited to compete with 10 other lovely ladies for the title of Miss Rodeo Utah. I need a green shirt. I need to become a beer brother. How do, how do I do that? Oh, uh, there's an adoption process. We can uh, send you an application. <laughs> a small fee to process yeah, it, right? That's right. All right. Well, very good. All righty, guys. Well, hey, you got a customer waiting. I don't want to keep you keep you too long. So, thanks right. for talking with me. Thank you. Enjoy the hey. Video. Trying to move the golf cart's going to run me over. <laughs> watch out. Hey, look at this evening. It's it's you know not quite a hundred. Not yet. Uh, we're going to have a spectacular opening, and the rodeo's going to kick off and. How do we celebrate something this great in Ogden? This is our biggest community event. I was I was gonna say I talked about another rodeo they have around this time, and it doesn't have the personality that Ogden Pioneer Days has. It's so friendly here and it's so nice. It's just like everybody here is is your friend. You know, we're we're sort of more of a homespun rodeo. Yeah. You know, we're not the professional yeah. sort of deal. Uh, you got some good riders that come here though. Well, we have the 15 best cowboys in the world show up, yeah. right? So. You know what I like about, about the rodeo queens and the contestants? You're so nice about it. You're like, I look forward to, to working with... No, you don't. You know, deep down, you, you want to win. You don't care, right? A friendly competition is the best competition because then at the end of the day, you know, they'll ask you for help later. There you go. That's why I have no friends because I say I say dumb things like that. You know what I mean? Miss Congeniality, sponsored by Gage Brewer and Associates. Miss Congeniality winner is contestant number five, Riley Warner. They love coming to Ogden. This backdrop, it's beautiful. this scenery is the best in the United States. And so, you know, we we're, we love our community and we want to do good things. So for us, it's not about making money. It's at least paying our bills. Yeah, yeah for sure. I bet. Keep our, your friends close and your enemies closer. See, look how smart she is. And can I get your name? Savannah Ogden. And hey that that works perfect ogden huh and your shirt you was telling me about your shirt earlier because that is cool so this is actually a lot of it is my family a few things that are other people um this is my best friend this was him riding in high school stetson Wright, because you know you got to represent utah the test award is sponsored by three t's payroll jackie bell now test award winner is contestant number two mckinley drake Yeah. yeah, these can't be cheap to put on. No, no, it's a million bucks here. 
So, you know, we're, we're happy people will buy a ticket. Yeah, yeah, at least break and even on the deal. We got these great sponsors, donors, who make up the difference so that we're in the black. Yeah, for sure. And then over here, I have my dad and my brother on their team roping horses. My little brother on our friend's calf roping horse that we sold them. And then on the back, it's actually me and my horse. Oh, really? So the only person not represented is my mom. And she wants to, she says she's the heart. Oh, is that she's what it is? Uh, the heart on every card. It's my mom. Well, then she gets represented a whole bunch then, right? Oh yeah, she's definitely on the shirt the most. <laughs> the Photogenic Award with a 20 by 24 portrait sponsored by Hazen Studios belongs to contestant number three, Bailey Mackey. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with me. I appreciate yeah. your time. You're a busy man. Uh, I don't want to get in your way. No, no. Good luck tonight. <laughs> I'm not riding ride, no bulls. Ride that bull. No, man. no, sir. I wouldn't even ride a horse just trotting. They terrify oh, no, no, me. No, no. Yeah, they do. You'd fall off. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right. You know, I've run out of questions. I'm not going to be able to ask. I'll just, I'll just ask their names. How's that? Will that work? All right. Sorry. Can I get your name? My name is Tristan Moulton. Riley Warnick. Hadley Seeds. See, I don't have to ask her name. They know what I'm asking, so I, I feel great. Janessa Sullivan. The Public Speaking Award is sponsored by Red Roofing Company, and it belongs to contestant number eight, Madison Wallace. I found more people, and he couldn't remember my last name, and that's okay because I can't remember his first name. So, tell everybody your name. Uh, I'm Bob Bell. Bob Bob Bell, and what is it you're doing down here tonight? I'm going to a rodeo. Right, good times, right? Oh, good times. We've loved this rodeo. Been here every night. It's been awesome. Really? You're surviving the heat. It's nothing here. It cools off. It's great. You're it missing does, it. You know what? It does. Once, once that, once that sudden. Wherever it goes down at, one of these West ways. Is that way, Yeah, Phil. yeah, yeah, that way. Um, <laughs> it does, it gets really pleasant down here. Yeah, it does, and it makes for a great rodeo. Alyssa Adair, Miss Wilderness Circuit. McKinley Drake. And I do have to say, I always thought rodeo queens were just like about being pretty and prancing around on their horses, but you girls work hard, right? It's not like, it's not like you guys just like walk around. What are some of the things that you have to do? We help push calves out in the arena and clear, make sure the arena is always clear during the rodeo. In the appearance category, sponsored by Young Power Sports, for the first time ever, there is a tie. This year's appearance award winners belong to contestants number six and two, Alyssa Adair and McKinley Drake. We've had a lot of fun here every night, been here every night. It's, you know what, I came Friday and Saturday night and had a good time. I've said this like five times on this show, but I'm gonna say it again. This rodeo, it's it's like a hometown event. It's like friendly, everybody here is so friendly. It's like nobody's a stranger. There shouldn't be. You're having a good time, good food. Wow, Yeah. it's the best. I'm scared to death of horses, so I wouldn't make a very good rodeo queen, I don't think. Those animals are huge, right? They're not that big. <laughs> it's fun to ride horses. Well, if you're a sissy like me, they're huge. Well, you may ride dirt bikes, and that terrifies me. So I don't even do that. I'm so old and broken up. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. I really appreciate it. Personality is sponsored by Schneider's Riverside Golf. Personality Award winner, Cowgirl Number Eight, Madison Wallace. playing every night for free, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, he's not a fan of music. He's like, no, I don't care about that. Yeah. No, I'm glad they're here. Yes. Adds to the whole thing. So what's your favorite event of the rodeo? Oh, I like barrel racing and bear bra and, and, and uh, bulls, sorry. Well, they're all great, but yeah, the bulls are fun, aren't they? Bulls are up. I think they're crazy. Yeah, well, I was going to say, what would it take for you to get on one? Like uh, more than $1.8 million. <laughs> 
<laughs> you probably have to ride two or three before you get that far, wouldn't you think? No, I just, you know, I admire what they do. They're good athletes and they work hard. Or... All right, can I get your name? Cody Brooks. So I talked to two other guys over there a minute ago, and they said you're their other brother. We're the Beer Brothers. You should be like, yeah, the Beer Brothers or triplets or something, right? Uh, not quite, but we, we could be. That's how close we are. Well, I don't know how close you are, to be honest with you, because they said they'd rather have me as a brother than you. You know, I, I don't blame them. <laughs> In the Horseman Shield, the category with the Buckle Award sponsored by Key Financial Services, Horsemanship winner, contestant number eight, Madison Wallace. think people realize because you know the bull riding you know it's it's exciting and it's dangerous and and you know bareback and saddle bronc and all those guys but i don't think they realize how much work the women put into barrel racing they don't they work hard they travel all over the country uh they have barrel races every year every week here in weber county and uh, uh they buy they pay a lot for the horses they train hard and uh it's a it's a great sport. I mean, it's a really a, between rider and horse. It is so good. Yeah, it's it's fun to watch. I mean, I don't know any barrel racers, but it, I'd kind of like to. You know what I mean? Maybe need some therapy. <laughs> They probably would. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe they'd like you. I don't know, Farrell. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you hey, so thank much. Thank you. Great time. Thanks. Maybe you'd rather have me for a brother than one of them. You know, maybe for the middle brother. Yeah. Oh, I, I couldn't do this job. I get thirsty, and it would just turn into a disaster. I know. That's what these. That's what these are for. I, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> you probably get in trouble doing that, though. I'd imagine. Probably would. Yes. Fourth runner-up. Roses will be presented by Alan Hall. The award is sponsored by Smith and Edwards, the Country Boy Store. Fourth runner-up is contestant number four, Hadley C. not going to talk to me at all. Watch. Hi, ladies. Hi. How are you? Good. 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 What, what are you down here for? My dad's in the band. Your dad's, your dad's in a band? When did this start? What? When did your dad get in a band? When did this start? I was my whole life. I don't <laughs> Obviously, you guys aren't independent, but you're just helping out the other tents here and stuff. Is that what it is? Yeah, so we're part of the concessions. Once the once the rodeo starts, I'll strap this flat on and go hike up the hike up the stadium all night. Oh man, like a like you're selling peanuts at the baseball game. Yep, we do about uh, 15,000 steps a night just on the stadiums. I don't think I make that many in a year. You know what I mean? It's pretty rough. It it gets you, <laughs> especially up and down stairs. That should be like double. Oh yeah, it's about 100 flights of stairs in a night. That gets you in shape, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I need to prepare a little bit more. I found that out. Yeah, well, get a treadmill or something. You'll be all right. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, Mo, thank you so much for talking with me. You're very welcome. Thank you. Third runner-up. Once again, Alan Hall takes care of the roses. The award is sponsored by Coca-Cola. Third runner-up belongs to contestant number one, Diane Huffman. for a fact she's not impressed by her dad being in a band. I know for a fact, right? I am now. I am now. Let me tell you a story about let me tell you a story about her. John would be John up there playing guitar. Yeah, the guy the turquoise guitar, he'd be playing in the house. And she would run around plugging her ears, screaming at the top of her lungs. You suck! You're not even that good! Did you not? He was in the living room and it was loud and you couldn't get away from it, but now he has a music room, so it's different. <laughs> Alright, can I get your name? Jake Jones. I'm Cassidy Jones. And what is it you guys right here for tonight? Uh, we're up here for the Miss Rodeo Utah Queen Contest. Um, she was Miss Rodeo Utah 19 or 20 and 21. 19, 20, and 21? You look great for a woman of your advanced age. Yeah. Uh, 20 and 21. I was oh. like, <laughs> See, uh, Let me get the years right. That's why no one likes me, because I, I assume stuff like that. Yeah, it's all good. Serve for two years, yes. Really? Yes. Second runner-up, along with Alan Hall, the award is sponsored by RRT Quarter Horses. 
Second runner-up belongs to contestant number six, Alyssa Adair. I have another great story about her, but that's for another time, right? That's for another day, isn't it? <laughs> never. It's for never. <laughs> All righty. Well, I just I thought it would be a great story to tell. So anyway, what happened? What? I, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, well, thanks so much for talking. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I just talked to the Rodeo Queens earlier, and it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to be a Rodeo Queen, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, most people don't see the hours of uh, preparation behind the scenes and making outfits and working on horses and all that. They just see pretty girls on horses and think, well, who can't do that, right? I mean, besides me, I can't ride horses, nor am I pretty. Uh, yeah. Join the club. <laughs> at least on the pretty, at least on the pretty part. All right, can I get your name? Garrett Wilkinson. And what is it you're doing down here tonight? Uh, bullfighter, protecting the cowboys from the buck and bulls. So let's say okay. some, not me, but let's say somebody wanted to do that. What, what does it take? Uh, not a lot of brain. I was just gonna say. But uh, it uh, it takes a lot of bravery to really you know so use your body as a shield to protect one of your friends versus trying to protect yourself. You, it's kind of a selfless act. But without us, it wouldn't be there wouldn't be nine, 95 percent of the bull riders that get to go up and down the road. Yeah, well you you see that too. They get bucked off, and the first thing is that bull goes for them, and you guys jump right in front of it or smack it to get its attention. First runner up. Alan Hall teams up with Express Recovery Services for the award for first runner-up. It belongs to contestant number two, McKinley Drake. Can I get your name? Yesenia. And what is it that you're doing? Dumb question. What are you down here tonight? Uh, can we get drunk? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's a good idea, too. There you go. Okay. Are you going to watch the rodeo in there somewhere, though? We are. We're on the north side. Uh, we're Mexicans. We're here to support. I love 24th of July. We're here on the 25th. Pioneer Day is my best day. It's so much fun here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. How do you override the, the your self-preservation to get in there and smack a bull? Uh, it's purely instinct, really. Um, if we think about it, you're already too late for the situation because you're busy trying to focus on it. Well, then by the time you realize what's going on, you're already behind, and then it's just a big mess from there. It's just got to be purely instinct to get in there and get that bull's head picked up and do your job. So let me ask you a question because you look at the guy who would know this. I've asked a couple other people, and no one can answer this question. All right. What exactly does punching dogies mean? Moving cows. Is that what it is? Because I've, I've seen it like on a lot of shows, and I thought it meant something more than that. I know. Put, moving cows, being a cowboy. Because I'm not a cowboy. This is the first person I've talked to all day that knows what it means, so I appreciate it. No problem. All right, have a good night, you guys. Thank you for talking with me. You too. So about how many of these rodeos have you been to? Ooh, 27 years. 27 years. 27 years. You're not even that old. Oh, yes, I'm 42. <laughs> oh. Well, see, I'm wrong. Yes, I am. All righty, well, 27 years at the rodeo. Right. I bet you got the record. You have to have the record of 27 years. Yeah, for sure. We're here every year. It's my favorite holiday. We love Utah. Thank you, guys. All righty, thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you. Thank you. That's a big animal, and they're mighty powerful. Yeah, it's, they're anywhere from about 1,000 to 2,000 pounds of just pure muscle with horns. So, I mean, yeah, it's like getting hit by a truck. So <laughs> yeah, I bet. A really fast truck. So, okay, one question I've been asking people. I got one answer, and I don't know if it's right or not. Maybe you have the answer. What does punching dogies mean? I have no idea. I don't either. I'm from the raw. I'm from here, so I have no idea. What yeah, me means. too. So maybe that's why I just saw it in a cowboy movie once. And I think it's like a Texas Oklahoma thing. Is that what it is? Maybe, well, I don't, I don't know either. Here, I guess is as good as mine. Alrighty, well, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. Hi, right, everybody. Hey, that's gonna do it for me down here at the rodeo. But I do have a question. With my get up, do I look at these boots? Do I look like a cowboy? I'm trying to be a cowboy. Let me know what you think. Anyway, the rodeo is about to start. I got a seat right over there, and I'm going to take it. So, thanks for watching. And your new Miss Rodeo Utah 2023 is going